Even if your system is running well, you still need to make these checks. You already tried to run Microsoft Defender, which is the inbuilt security solution, and the report is all clear. But that is not enough. You noticed some abnormal behavior in your PC that your C drive is getting almost full very often, some of your files are missing, and strange pop ups appear on your PC. And worst of all, you spot an unfamiliar user account lurking in your settings. A common question may arise Am I hacked? But don't panic, I got you. Let's walk through some crucial steps to uncover the truth because today I'll show you how to check if your PC is hacked before it's too late. Alright, first thing first if a hacker has infiltrated your system, they will try to stay undetected but they always leave breadcrumbs and your job is to find those breadcrumbs before they do more damage. Let's jump straight into it. Start with the malicious software removal tool, press windows plus R and type in MRT and hit enter. You'll see three options, quick scan, full scan and custom scan. If you suspect something shady, go for a full scan as it digs deeper into your system for hidden malware. For this example, I'm going for a quick scan, it will take its time and once done, it will list the malicious files, if any. Also, it will generate the report for your analysis. But what if the real danger isn't a virus or a malware, but an intruder who already has access to your PC? This leads to our second check for suspicious user account. Hackers love persistence. You want to know one of their sneakiest tricks? It's creating a hidden user account to access your PC anytime they want. Let's check if someone's lurking in your system. Again, press Windows plus R and type in NETPLWIZ and hit enter. This opens up the user account window and now carefully look through the list. If you see an account you don't recognize, that's a red flag. Remove it immediately. But wait. Do you think hacking is just about user accounts? What if malware is running silently in the background every single time you boot up your PC? This brings us to the third check for the hidden startup app. Malware often disguises itself as a startup app, so it launches before you even realize it. Let's look into it. Press Ctrl Shift plus Escape to open up the task manager and then head over to the startup tab. Look for anything unusual, unknown or suspicious, especially apps with strange names or random characters. If you find one, disable it immediately. For example, in this case, I don't want this iTunes app to run when my PC boots up, so I will simply disable it. But that's just the surface level. What if something is running in the background and making secret connections to the hacker server? Alright, it's time to go little deeper. If your PC is compromised, it might be communicating with the hacker server sending out your data without you knowing. Let's open command prompt. Type in this command netstat-nbf and press enter. This reveals all the active network connections. If you see an unfamiliar IP address, especially the one connecting to random locations, then you might have a problem. But I know command lines aren't for everyone. If you prefer a visual tool, just download Process Hacker. I'll leave the link to the tool in the description below. It basically lays out all the active connections in a much more user-friendly way. Now, this is where things get real scary because some malware isn't in task manager, startup apps, or even in network connections. Instead, it's buried deep into systems hidden registry files. Hackers love to hide their malware in registry run keys and task scheduler. If a hacker has placed something here, it will restart every time your PC boots up. Press Windows plus R and type in REG edit and go to this location, H key local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, and then run. Here, look for any unknown program running at the startup. If something looks sketchy, it might be a hidden backdoor. Once you have verified there's nothing to worry about here, next open task scheduler and scan through the task. Once you click on any task, you will see the description as well if you are unsure about those default tasks. If you spot anything that seems out of the place or runs automatically without your knowledge, just simply delete it. So by now, you should have a clear idea of whether your PC has been hacked or not. But if you found something suspicious and removed it, remember, hackers don't give up easily. So stay alert, keep your system updated and never download unknown files. If you found this video helpful, do give it a like or if you gain any knowledge, please make sure to subscribe our channel. It will mean a lot to me. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay secure and take care.